normal people search for ideas for a new sewing project. Versus how I search for a sewing project. Be advised that the project you see in front of you is not the project we'll be doing today. I've been feeling those spooky vibes, so I wanted to use this amazing 1950s paisley fabric and this butterick pattern that I have yet to try. And can you believe it? I actually made a mock-up. Who am I? What's happening? And don't worry, those are shorts underneath there. I promise I'm not flashing you. Okay, until right there. Overall, it did fit. It was a little big, but I wasn't too worried about it. And I thought having to lay a mock-up on an old sheet was a pain in the butt. Wait until I had to do it with the actual fabric. What you can see here is what we called struggle bussing. Struggle bussing is what is known as when Stephanie prays she has enough fabric, but probably doesn't. Nope, that won't fit there either. Thousands of tears later. After I composed my felt from the floor, I realized that I had to do the unthinkable, which is actually cut the back piece in half. And yes, I know this is a princess line dress, but I, you do what you gotta do. There was one upside though. That's right, friends. The one, the only. I did not have to make a contrast pocket. I got to make an actual pocket of the same fabric. The silver lining. So after having to repeat, make sure you cut out an extra half inch, make sure you cut out an extra half inch, make sure you cut out an extra half inch for ad nauseum amounts of hours, I took my quick line and my chalk and actually made sure that I cut out the extra half inch so I could actually sew this together correctly. So can I just say that I actually was desperately close to uh, completely running out of fabric? Because yeah, I was. This, Ed literal, actual scraps. That's it. It's all that was left. Mmm, darting. Hello and welcome, hi, hi, hi. Day two, hello. Have I completely <clears throat> stalled until about mm, 11.30 in the morning doing this? Yes, yes I have. But in my defense, I was doing some uh, tailor tax to, cause I hadn't bothered to do that before. <gasps> anyway, let's just uh, do a quick recap on what I did last night off camera. So after I did the darts in this lovely bonus shenanigans, this dude right here, bam. Uh, you can see I did actually go ahead and put it together all the way through here. And I did <laughs> make it back into one piece. And it doesn't look that bad, right? Like, you, it's not, it's not super noticeable. Maybe I need to make a belt. I don't know. I also made the pockets because... Pockets! A girl's best friend. Pockets and sedition, friends. Pockets and sedition. Uh, I did go ahead and cut those out make them all by baste them so that they can go right on the front pieces. Now, as far as the instructions go, I'm supposed to have put in like an inner, oh God, as I tear it, I'm supposed to put in an interfacing piece, which I haven't cut out yet. And then I'm supposed to go down and go ahead and start with the front darts, which is what I'm going to do next. And then I attach the pockets, which I can do totally fine. And then I can attach the two front panels together can do absolutely let's do it and and then i have to deal with the giant facing piece which i definitely didn't trace out nor have i dealt with yet um yeah also <laughs> the gray fabric that i thought i was going to use nope nope not gonna use that because sometimes vintage fabric is dry rotted as f
But that's enough stalling, so let's go ahead and get sewing then now, shall we? And in this version of Stephanie, she is very tired and is about to make a giant mistake. That's right, friends. Do not, for any reason, when sewing darts, clip your darts too short. Because then you won't be able to tie it. Like now. One eternity later. Success! And hey, it's pocket time, y'all. Mmm, pockets. This is, of course, me not watching Jedi Amanda unbox her beautiful new machine while sewing. Nope, nope, not jealous, not even a little bit, not, not even a little. No, I'm completely jealous, it's so amazing. I want it. Now, logically, the next step should be to attach these of interfacing pieces, you know, once I size them up to the correct size. However, we have got something much more important to do. Come on. later okay that was great but it's real hot so if you're in Florida 10 out of 10 would recommend if you don't get motion sickness unlike my husband cool I guess I should get back to sewing now bye good morning it is actually still morning this time I <laughs> well last night was fun So I discovered last night that one of the pattern pieces from the vintage pattern is misprinted. <coughs> it's missing the notch to line up the facing piece and the main side front body piece. So let me tell you how well that went. <coughs> Not well. I also think that there's actually a misprint on this piece just in general because I didn't lengthen the shoulder at all on the exterior piece, and yet for some reason I was like a full half inch shorter, and it's just, it's not a good piece. It's not a good piece. But yeah, so I guess I should show you it on then. Okay, now the facing is hot garbage, but that's okay. So, it looks like shoulder seam, shoulder seam. I, it's it's not great. It's definitely not my best facing, but you know what? It'll do. That'll do, pig. So now I'm just gonna trim it off and keep on going because I would like to get this done today. That would be great. Now you see it. Now you don't. It's not pretty, but it'll do. And here you can see Stephanie in the wild understitching a piece that is absolutely not necessary because she's gonna come back along and put binding along that entire stretch. Well, hello there, friends. <laughs> I uh, might have gotten a little sidetracked and also <clears throat> this was all the bias tape I had left. That was it, right there. That's it, the entirety of it. So I had, of course, to go to Joann's and acquire more. In doing that, I realized there's standard bias tape that is literally 
half the size of this, is, which is what I thought I was going to, like, make on my own in this world where I make my own bias tape, which I totally don't. I buy this crap. I, of course, buy three packets of this and two packets of the extra wide and... Well, we're just gonna go ahead and lay it next to it and see which one I actually want to do, because at least if I rip it off, I've only done one arm, though, so far. So, I guess we're gonna figure out which one I am going to do. Half inch, seam binding. So that's what we're gonna stay with to keep it in line. And with that decision made and approximately a thousand buttons left to do, I'm going to go ahead and hand y'all off to the reveal, Stephanie. See you there. Did I almost forget to record this outro to the point that I was editing the video in this makeup and realized I hadn't done it? Yes! Yes, I did! Hi! Welcome to my channel. Real quick recap. I promise I'll make it quick. First up, pattern overall, not bad. Actually, I kind of enjoy the princess lines. It did kill my soul a little bit to have to, like, straight cut it across. But in the end, it actually turned out alright. So, not too shabby. Uh, the facings... <clears throat> The facings, however, can burn in hell. Okay, the back neck facing wasn't that bad, but the front facing was straight garbage. Because I adjusted that exactly how much I adjusted the front one, and it still sucked. So, um, I have the shortest facings I've ever had on a garment, and um, I definitely used the wrong type of interfacing because now we have... It's too stiff all the way around. All the way around. Uh, I'm actually proud of uh, my little mitered corners here. Not too shabby there. But other than that, uh, I will definitely get a lot of wear out of this dress because it's spooky and my heart is spooky. <laughs> and don't mention the fact that I just now realized that I have taken half of my hair down, but not the other half. Um, anyway, it's time to announce the contest winner. And that is V. Thank you so very much for commenting on the video, and I will be DMing you on Instagram. If you enjoy more hijinks like this, make sure you click that like button, being sure to subscribe because yes, this is pretty par for the course, and making sure to turn on that bell notification so YouTube can let you know every time I upload a new video. And until next time, friends, stay spooky. We'll see y'all next time. That's the, that's the wrong button, baby. Did I absolutely forget to record the uh, fabric reveal until after I had cut it? Oh yeah, definitely did that. All right, and with that decision made and about a thousand buttons to do, I'm just gonna go ahead and step y'all off to, nope. And with that decision made and approximately 1,000 buttons, I d yeah. And now I'm too big in the frame. Excellent. Fastest outro ever. In garbage lighting.